On August 13, 2010, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World hit US theaters for the first time. I unfortunately did not get the opportunity to see it on the big screen, but 10 years later, this is still one of my favorite movies of all time. The first time I watched this movie, I was blown away. Edgar Wright, along with the cast and crew, made an amazing adventure that stands the test of time. Here are 10 reasons why you should check out Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. Although the movie is 10 years old, I will not be getting into spoilers, so no worries if you haven't seen it. Alright, let's get into it. Reason number one. Great direction from Edgar Wright. Edgar Wright is one of the most unique, versatile directors out there. In his movies, you can always count on there being excellent storytelling, amazing action, which we'll get into later, and an awesome soundtrack, which we'll also get into. Edgar Wright has a strong understanding of the source material, including its themes and its characters. He handles it all so well. His direction along with the other reasons on this list are why this movie is such a standout. Reason number two, the amazing cast. This movie has such an amazing group of actors at the forefront. There are great lead performances from Michael Cera and Mary Elizabeth Winstead, who have great on-screen chemistry. We have some great actors playing the antagonists, including but not limited to Jason Schwartzman, Chris Evans, Brie Larson, and Brandon Routh. We also can't forget the supporting characters played by Aubrey Plaza, Ellen Wong, Kieran Culkin, Anna Kendrick, Alison Pill, and Mark Webber. What's really crazy is how many of these actors went on to have huge roles in franchises like the MCU or the Arrowverse, as well as hit TV shows like Parks and Recreation. Reason number three, characters. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World has such a well-rounded group of characters, who you either love or love to hate. Scott Pilgrim isn't a typical hero you get in a big action movie like this. He's dorky, insecure, obsessive, and at certain times he's a jerk. But as an audience, we still find ourselves rooting for him. Scott's bandmates, Styles, Kim, and Young Neil, bring a lot of heart and play off of Scott's antics really well. We also have a lot of strong female characters like Knives, Ramona, Envy, and Julie. There's such a diverse group of characters, especially when you add in the League of Seven Evil Exes. Reason number four, solid editing. If you're a film student or you just appreciate the technical aspects of movies, Scott Pilgrim is a great example of editing done right. The movie is paced really well and has some of the smoothest transitions I've ever seen. On top of that, you can see how the movie is influenced by video games and the comic style, which Scott Pilgrim came from. There's also great narration from Bill Hader that delivers exposition and story points in a fun way that's not distracting or too on the nose. Reason number five, the music. I mentioned this earlier, but the soundtrack really sticks with you. A lot of the music comes from Scott's band, Sex Bomb, and their on-screen performances throughout the movie. But there's also a great score. We even get a cover of Black Sheep by Brie Larson, which I actually like better than the original. Fun fact, Grammy-winning artist Beck composed five songs from the movie. Reason number six, action. One of my favorite elements of this movie is the crazy action sequences. A lot of the fight scenes come by video game and comic book elements. During the fight, there might be a health bar or Scott might get a power-up. The movements are also supplemented with action words like there would be a conflict, like whoosh or bang, making it much more dynamic. The fights are fast-paced and really well choreographed. The choreography and the visuals make these fight scenes epic. Reason number seven, the jokes. This is definitely one of the funniest movies out there. This script is filled with witty dialogue that still holds up 10 years later. Along with the jokes, there are tons of visual gags that you may not catch all of upon the first watch. Like I mentioned earlier, they use a lot of symbols from video games and comics that really help sell these jokes. Reason number eight, visual effects. I know I've already mentioned it several times in this video, but I thought this still warranted its own segment. The visual style and CGI really sets Scott Pilgrim apart from other movies. Of course, there are graphics from video games and comics, but there are also awesome CGI weapons and backdrops. The CGI never feels overused. All of it fits and helps to tell the story without taking you out of the experience. When a character is soaring through the air, you see the motion lines like an anime. When Scott defeats an enemy, you see a bunch of CGI coins left behind. These visual effects will have your eyes glued to the screen. Reason number nine, the set design. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World takes place in Toronto, Canada, so you get a lot of beautiful snowy cityscapes. There are also a lot of great indoor sets, especially for the band scenes. Edgar Wright plays a lot with scale and space to really exaggerate the action and performances of the characters. Again, this movie is really nice to look at. And reason number 10, the rewatchability. I'm not even sure if this is really a word, but how else do I describe this one? Scott Pilgrim vs. The World is one of those movies you watch continuously and always find some new hidden detail, easter egg, or visual gag. Everything about the movie holds up from the action to the music to the characters. Ten years later, this movie still never gets old. Thank you everyone for watching. This is another attempt at a video essay format video. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Also, don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe. Also in the comments, let me know what are your favorite moments or aspects of Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. I'm curious to find out. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.